let's talk about money right so we're going to talk about reports uh, right now where we'll feature uh, the account statements how it works and how you can work your way around it so you'll come onto the report stuff click on account statements right there as it loads it will bring you to this page where you'll get to see the four main tabs where we have due and unpaid due and unpaid represents pending payments if we haven't yet paid you for the last week or the last month's uh, sales it always falls under due and unpaid uh, right next to that we have open statement open statement represents the current and going month sales it's an open statement from the right because the sales are still being picked up from the month in transit items represents goods or orders you have processed and you've handed over to Jumia and you'd like to track them. So for example, we can click on this tab right here and uh, out of the 291 items we're seeing for this particular vendor, 37 are in the Jumia facilities, meaning they're still at the warehouse ready to be uh, delivered. Uh, right below we have in delivery to customer. In delivery to customer basically means the items are in transit or they're in the process of being delivered to the customers. In the scenario the items finally get delivered and uh, a customer ends up returning a product. So our next step is usually the customer has requested a return. So we usually take back the item, receive it at the warehouse, then it moves on to the next stage where we return the we process the item to be returned back to the vendor. Then, after that, we move on to the last point where when the item is ready for you to collect, uh, it notifies you and the item is ready for pickup at the warehouse. So these are four, five main points or stages of tracking your orders. Okay? So back to where we were, paid in the last three months represents gross payment that you have received in the last three months that you made your sales. So right below we have the chart or the breakdown of the account statement, uh, right below like here. So on your far left you get to see the payment periods, it keeps a record of all payments you've ever received from the onset of your account. So if you ever want to pull any history data you can always do so. So for example we might want to pull out data for the period of 10th July till the 16th. Okay. It opens up on your right as you can see where opening balance is always zero. Sales revenue represents the gross sales of that month. Other revenues may come in if in that month we lost or damaged any of your goods before they got delivered to the customers. We usually reimburse you the amount of the items. Okay, That's why it doesn't fall under sales revenue because it's not a sale. Right below we have the fees. Fees usually entail commissions or any form of deductions. Like as you know, every time you make a sale, we'll always be deducting a commission. So for example, in this scenario, this is the total amount of commission that has been deducted from the above sales. So out of the 233,000 and something lot of sales, we have deducted 58,000 as commission. Uh, but other forms of fees, as you can see on this vendor, is Jumia Fast, meaning this vendor used our storage facilities. So this is the total amount of storage fee we had deducted from this vendor. Other forms of fees and deductions you may also see reflecting in your account may be such as uh, penalties if you do not process your orders in good time. If you cancel any of your orders, you'll also find you'll be charged a penalty. If you use our rider services, we will charge you pickup fee. Okay, so those are other forms of deductions that you may encounter. So right now we have refunds. Refunds entail returned orders. What are returned orders? When a customer purchases an item and ends up returning due to one reason or another, maybe it had a manufacture problem or maybe it was in fashion and it ended up being a wrong size, they are allowed to return the products. If that does happen, we usually refund the amount of the item to the customer. So in this scenario, the amount will be deducted from your account because it's a sale lost. And refund on fees below is usually the commission we end up refunding you as well. Because since you've lost this sale, we usually refund you the commission that was earlier deducted from your account. So basically, at the very end, whatever you get out of all that is usually your net. This is now what you expect to be written on your account, uh, check, sorry, or this is what you expect to be transferred to your account, depending on what uh, mode of payment you select from. 
okay or if you choose mpesa as well we can always use that so um in the scenario you might want to have transparency or you want to have a, a complete breakdown of the above you can always click on download all transactions which will export into an excel sheet for example let me do this okay where you'll get to see a complete breakdown of every amount every customer every transaction date that you may require uh, to know on the sales okay so this is usually important uh, for vendors who usually want to see the items that were purchased if they want to follow up if they want to do any account reconciliation from their end this is usually beneficial to them so for example as we with this So for example, this is how it exports into the Excel sheet. Right? You see the transaction dates, you see the items, you get to see each amount, uh, if those VAT inclusive, which ones are paid, the order numbers as well. So this is everything that you may need uh, to know or when you need to do your account reconciliation. So takeaway information that you may also need to know when it comes to accounting systems is that uh, we have two story three modes of payment you're either paid by check you're either paid by eft or direct transfer or you're either paid by mpesa okay so whichever mode that you decide you can always fill in your details in your profile right there yeah where under bank account details give us the full information of what you uh what you require if you give us your account name number and the bank will pay you by eft if you give us your account name alone we'll pay you by check or mpesa okay so another important thing that you need to know as well is that when it comes to periods of payment we have two where you're either paid monthly or or weekly right so the default period of payment is monthly uh, if you want to be moved to the weekly period of payment, you have to get to sales of 250,000 per week. Okay, so for your first one month or two months of sales, you have to get to sales of 1 million for four weeks, uh, out of which now we'll approve your request to be moved to weekly. Okay, so always look forward to increasing your sales so that you can be moved to the weekly period of payment. Okay, so for those who will choose EFT as your mode of payment, please note if your net sales do, does not get to 25,000, we are going to write a check instead. So the minimum we transfer by EFT mode of payment is 25,000. So uh, always pay attention to that. Okay, that was all for today. Thank you.